flight that um, check guild mates here's your settings um, all I did at the start before I played I came in just to make sure that I was out of full screen so I could stream it and set my video resolution everything else is just basic so I haven't messed with texture settings or anything it's just all basic and it says I'm already a high quality so I, I haven't touched a thing I just left it I haven't even messed with my key bindings yet because I've only got but two skills I'm not gonna worry about key binding right away then we've got actual guild not in a guild uh, but here you can look and see don't know looks like here's some guilds these might be guilds that are recruiting not quite sure. Haven't really messed with their guilds, but if you need a guild, uh, recruiting players online. So you know, if you want to get into a guild right away, they got a guild tool. So that's pretty neat. And then finally, a help. And then because it's um, even though there's a lot of PvP focus, it's still a story. You actually still have a story that you can follow. And here I am, Chaos chapter one of the chaos storyline and that's why those public quests are real important because that helps drive the lore and the story of your character so there's your basics and you might at first thought think oh my gosh they have rifts nope that's just a pretty background so nothing is ever going to come out of that hole all right so let's take a look at our quests here You've been offered a quest, so here's my quest an excellent way to gain experience and rewards okay so here's the you know little tutorial quickly about your quests and accepting them and stuff like that no voiceover so I'm not gonna read all these if you want to read the quests that's your spoiler stuff so you can read those so here it is the quest is new recruit I need to report to so-and-so and by doing so I'm gonna get some experience so I've accepted it move on now see if I here's my quest tracker so that's what's been changed and now I can see right down here is the person to turn it into now if I want to fully explore I might come running up past here and see if that fills in you know just so I can say hey I've cleared out the map let's take a look here I can look over here it tells me that it's ranks 12 13 whatnot so this would be then my next zone for like the next you know levels 10 through 20 and then if I come here this would be where I'd go once I hit 20 but since my demo only takes me to 20 it's quite possible that I might only fill in this map and this map this map might be fairly safe for new folks as you progress through parts of the map you'll be invited into PvP zones I don't know how open world PvP it is so we're gonna learn that together alright so that's where I gotta go now other parts of the screen here's your chat combat results and whatnot and that's that's pretty much it very standard here's me here's my target and now it looks it's just like most other games so we'll just ride on my little floaty disc oh let me see here what is this here a demonic maw and flickering red fire and a flea I do not start out with a pet so We'll run some quests and perhaps I will get a pet here early on. So for now we'll just float down here and talk to this guy. Now I'm feeling some lag, kind of some stuttering. And since I'm streaming in data, that's probably what's causing some of my stutter here is it's trying to load data while I float around. But you know, once that stuff kind of smooths out, it's it's it plays smooth. You know, we got we got pretty good smoothness here. Alright, let's take a look at this quest. New recruits, that's me. Complete. There's my experience. So now I gotta go kill some foul nurglings and I'll be able to get cracked glovelets. Okay, you don't start out rich. Alright, you start out poor. Combat is exciting and fraught with peril. These are a few things you might want to know before you wade into the thick of battle. Alright, so basically combat just like everything else. Right click to initiate auto attack and then hit your little icons down below to initiate attacks. So what we'll do is we'll open with that, use that as a follow up, see just see what they do. I like to open up with the one that has the longest cooldown first. So here's a foul nurgling. 
which it wants me to do. So I'm I'm apparently in range, so let's hit it. And then when it gets close. Huh. Looks like I could do either one. Let's see. That's gonna do 72 points of elemental damage. And then this one does deals 55 spirit damage and reduces movement speed by 40% for 10 seconds, but it's got a short range. I might as well just stick with my red whatever's here. Tab to target. They're on the same cooldown. Shoot, I'll just nuke it. Let's get my hand on my key. So, nothing fancy here. Now it's glowing. Okay, you just gotta get your hand in the right spot. Right click to loot. Hey, there's another one. There it is. Alright, I got me my three nerglings. Easy. Okay, there's my prove myself. I'm done. Complete. As a reward for your actions, a new item has just been placed into your backpack. Give me some items, so I'll accept this quest. Alright, good. B for bags. So we'll open up my bags. What is this? Book of Binding. Bound to play. Use to return to your rally point. Alright, so we won't mess with that. Then here is my cracked glovelets. Four armor. Uh, I didn't notice if that's them. You can even see my wrist items. Hit my map. Right up there. Now I gotta go. At some point I want to just come back there and see if I can fill that in by chance. So for now, oh look, there's a witch. Well, here I go, into uh, streaming data. Got some restless dead here. Why, hello, Kaltira the Demon Caller. Now, because this is originally, uh, I really don't know the difference between the UK, Great Britain, or England. Are they all the same island? I don't want to get it wrong here for anybody watching, but uh, because this originally came from in the area, um, you're going to see like sometimes those British spellings because that's not how we spell demon normally. So it's not misspelled, it's actually spelt in like British styles. And I think sometimes I've, if I remember right back in the day, I even saw armor spelt A M. O U R, so they kind of have that that British spelling. Um, so don't be alarmed; it's not misspelling. All right, so I've accepted that quest. Okay, I have to kill. Oh, here. Yep. I mean, turn in. Sorry. Complete. I need to kill or bring four bones of the dead. So I gotta go kill some undead, get some bones. Here we go. So these so far. You know, even though there is a heavy emphasis on PvP, if you go and you read forums and, and things about Warhammer, they're going to talk heavily about the PvP and the tiers of PvP. However, initially, this is starting out just like any game. Go kill four of this and bring me the bones. Go kill five of this and bring me the bones. Nothing earth-shattering or offensive. Alright, I'm just going to sneak past. Okay, so here I've got a... Oscar Hedrickson, apprentice career trainer. Well, I'm just going to skip past that real quick because I want to see if I can get past and fill the edge of the map. It says I can attack it. But I don't, I don't like it. So I'm just going to skip it. I don't like the way that looks. I just have this insatiable need to reach the end of the map. A lot of flying contraptions. I'm not going to argue. Okay, peaky peakies. I don't think they're aggressive. Okay, good. And it's a wall of mountains. See I'm a thinking that is as far as that's going to let me go. I mean, I can see that that's a mountain, but I wasn't sure if I could, like, maybe climb it, look over it. 
I just wanted to make sure I had no section of this beginning map unexplored before I started doing stuff. So my curiosity has been satiated. I think that might be a word. Sated. Shaded. Something. I don't know. I'm good now. Alright, so I'm going to run back and work. Oh, look. There's a mailbox. My nose is itchy. My nose is really itchy. It's just on the tip. It's like, stop itching. Okay, career train. I'm not worried about him right now. See, look at it. It's streaming in lots of data. It would just be nice if it told me how much or what it was streaming in. I'm just, I'm a curious folk that way. Alright, so let me kill some restless deads here. Ooh, disrupt. That first shot didn't hurt it. Got me something. Got me some bones. Well, let me look at these question marks. The question marks are just the... Uh, little tips, experience points, so I can read about experience points. Uh, I'm going to leave the beginner tips because you never know, I might get something. Quest completed. Here's how you know you've completed a quest. Hello, Restless Dead. Boom. Alright. And... That's it, 404. So real simple, real quick. The only reason why this is taking any amount of time is because I'm explaining stuff. If you download this and hop in, uh, you're just going to burn through this content real fast because it, it's nothing challenging so far. Got some experience, got some monies. Heart of the battle, you can read the story on your own. I'm going to accept this. Ancestral Chronicle, Zero of One and awaken spirits killed. I gotta go into a little dungeon, get a book, and come back. I've read this before. I remember it from a year, year and a half ago, I remember the starting quest. Because this is exactly the same stuff that the Chaos Warrior had to do, or the Chosen as they call it. So all I gotta do, peep your map. Oh, just take that path straight up there into that crypt. And here's my experience bar along the top. So I just got to kill a couple more things, and boom, I hit level 2. Um, don't know, don't remember if I automatically gain skills or if I have to go to a trainer. That I do not remember. So we are about to find out. So I'm right-clicking the, the gates. Now the graphics, let's talk about graphics real quick since I'm doing an introduction to the game. Uh, my wife asked me this earlier. She said, or she asked me, is this graphics World of Warcraft graphics or what are they? Um, I think they are better than World of Warcraft. Um, I think the character models could be a little bit better. They're not, I'm going to say they're they're not quite as good as Rift um, but I think they are much, much, much better than World of Warcraft. Scenery reminds me kind of like I mean this is a dark jury place kind of has to me a Lord of the Rings type of feel um, but the uh, character models are much, much better than Lord of the Rings, even. Um, you know, I'm, I might even put this into the lineup. I kind of like my Lord of the Rings. Let's see, what was I going to do in Lord of the Rings? What was my... Oh, the monster play. Yeah, I'm doing monster play in Lord of the Rings right now. Um, but I wouldn't mind maybe trying to figure out how to put Warhammer into the lineup, um, you know, if I have some fun here with it. Just because, you know, hey, it's free up to level 20, you know. Okay. Let's let's kill some stuff here. Kind of queue up my spells. Okay, now see. Oh, I ranked up. They call it a rank. It's a level. I forget how the ranks work exactly. Something like every 10 ranks opens up a tier of PvP, essentially, and so I'm working on rank 1, which is like level 2, and then your level, you know, is kind of related to your PvP-ness, so I'm rank 2 now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
stuck on a rock. I was like, why aren't I moving? 